by the National Weather Association. Weather from where you live. We've got a nice evening underway. 74 by 7, 66 at 9 with some haze and widespread haze and 59 at 11 with clearing skies and that will precede some patchy fog that will develop overnight tonight. But certainly warmer, muggy and windy weathers in this forecast with periodic scattered storms Sunday night through Wednesday night. And after that, a little cool down, but it's only going to cool down into the upper 70s to around 80. Some severe weather is possible. In fact, severe weather will be, will, will be just off to our west over the weekend, and then it can move into the area as we get into Monday and or Tuesday. Lows tonight with some of that patchy fog around 49 Rochester and Peru, 50 Burlington, 53 at Lafayette and Fowler, and about 54 Pence down towards State Line City, also Vetersburg. And highs for tomorrow, boy, just a really good day, mostly sunny. As long as you don't mind the wind, winds will be gusty out of the south, up to 30 miles an hour, a high 78 Rochester and Peru, 81 degrees in Lafayette, 82 at Attica, and even warmer on Saturday to kick off the weekend, partly cloudy, windy, very warm, rather humid. 81 Rochester and Peru, 82 Logansport will be around 83 at West Lafayette and Lafayette and 84 at Kentland as well as Pine Village. And then we're talking scattered storms late, late Saturday evening and into Saturday night. So there's the 75 we had today and there's the 81 we will have tomorrow. Now as we get into Saturday, there'll be a severe weather event that will unfold to our west. Now, uh, the main upper level winds for promoting severe weather are to the west. So I think we'll pick up the leftovers of these Saturday late evening, Saturday night. So some scattered storms at that point. Then as we get into Sunday, well, likely, we will likely see more severe weather to our west. Now, I'm not really concerned about severe weather here as of yet. But certainly a few of these storms may sneak in in a weakening fashion later Sunday afternoon, Sunday evening. And then on Monday, as the main forcing arrives, the main cold front and all the strong winds to promote organized storms and even severe weather, those will start to move overhead. And we may get a couple of rounds of storms that could be severe during both of these days with highs in the upper 80s. Cooling off a little bit Wednesday with scattered showers beginning to taper later on in the day and then we'll be a little cooler as we get towards Thursday, but still highs around 79 and by Friday, more storms could be back in the forecast. So clearing and patchy fog tonight, we're gonna drop down to 53 degrees, 70 forecast. There's that 81 tomorrow, pretty windy day, windy on Saturday, late Saturday evening, Saturday night, scattered storms, some more scattered storms late Sunday afternoon and evening. Then Monday and Tuesday, we could get two rounds of storms and some of those could be severe. We'll keep an eye on that. And then drying out for Thursday, 79 for the high, but that's after, boy, several days that are about 85 to 90 degrees. Tomorrow, you're really gonna notice it, Jeff. You know, we were at 75 today. That 81 tomorrow, it's almost gonna feel a little hot. Boy, by Saturday, 83 and the humidity will be coming up, so it's going to start to get muggy. And then we worry about storms late in the weekend. Yeah, got to keep an eye on that, and we'll have another update at uh, 6 and 11. Okay, sounds good, Chad. We'll okay. see you then. Well, parents know how difficult it is to figure out.